You are watching Ledger Life, your stop for everything building quietly, but meaningfully on the internet, computer, and beyond. Before we get into today's stories, a quick note. Independent crypto journalism takes time and research. If you would like to support what we do, you can now donate directly to Ledger Life. Every contribution helps us keep tracking the projects that matter, not just the ones that trend. All right, let's get into it. Hey guys, there's a quick update. I have got all your comments and really appreciate all the feedback. I'm really sorry about the audio quality in this video. It's a bit of a challenge recording from home with background noise. I'm working on setting up a studio to improve things. So thank you all for bearing with me. The internet computer's AI-driven app builder, Kefi, just brought smarter literally. It now has web search built directly into its app creation toolkit. That means when developers use natural language prompts to create applications, those apps can now access live data from the internet, anything from weather APIs and GitHub snippets to crypto prices or spot scores, all without needing a separate integration. Previously, apps built on Caffeine worked mainly with internal data and local logic. They were powerful, but not exactly live. Now, with the addition of web search, that limitation is fading fast. Here is how it plays out. Say you ask Caffeine to build a weather tracker. Before, it could generate the UI and logic, but needed you to manually connect to an external API. Now, it will find that API, connect to it, and generate fully working code all in one flow. The update basically lets developers create AI-powered dApps that aren't locked in a sandbox anymore. They can pull real-time info straight from the web, making their outputs as fresh as a browser query. This is also a step toward a more dynamic and useful AI-assisted coding experience. Kefim has been pushing updates fast from automated dApps scaffolding to instant code previews and this addition strengthens its edge as one of the most practical AI developer tools on chain. You can try the new feature at the link given in the description below, and it's worth experimenting with. The idea of building a working app just by describing it and having it source live web data, it is something we are only starting to see take shape. And remember, all this runs on chain on the internet computer no external servers, no centralized AI pipeline, just language, logic, and decentralized compute. Moving from core to crypto, there is also something new for users. Plug Wallet, one of the main wallets for the internet computer, has rolled out a refreshed swap page, and it's a lot more useful than it sounds. The new interface directly integrates one sex ICP EVM bridge meaning users can now swap assets across ICP and other blockchains like Ethereum, Solana, and even Bitcoin without leaving the plug wallet interface. Think of it as cross-chain DeFi with fewer tabs open. Before this, moving tokens between networks often meant juggling multiple apps like Bridge Here, Swap There, and Pray the routing works out. Now, plug does all that inside its own swap aggregator. It even gives you better routing and pricing automatically. The team also shared a small tip that would save you a few tokens. Often, it's cheaper to bridge from ICP to EVM first before swapping into other assets like ETH or SOL. The feature is designed to make DeFi on the internet computer smoother and more accessible, especially for those who use ICP as their home base but want to interact with external ecosystems. You can check it out in the latest version of Plug Wallet and if you haven't used one sec before, it's worth trying. It's one of the fastest ICP bridges around and the integration feels natural. This move also fits into a larger pattern where ICP projects are becoming more connected to the wider crypto economy. It's not about isolation anymore, it's about interoperability done right with user experience in mind. Next up, CommSwap, the community-driven decentralized exchange that's been quietly building on the internet computer, just hit a key milestone. It's now listed on CoinGecko and Gecko Terminal. That listing does a few things at once. 
It boosts visibility, brings real-time data to traders, and gives the project an extra layer of transparency that's vital in DeFi. According to the latest figures, CoinSwap has a fully diluted valuation of around $5.8 million and a TVL of over $3.7 million. Daily trading volume is modest, hovering around $200, but that's steady activity for a growing community DEX. Its total token supply sits just above 1 billion, with a hard cap of 1.1 billion tokens. Circulating supply details are yet to come, but for early stage DeFi projects, listings like this one serve as both recognition and validation. It's now much easier for users to track liquidity, pricing, and performance metrics. For any decentralized exchange, visibility is currency, and CoinGecko's listing helps new users find, verify, and understand what they are interacting with. CoinSwap's focus has been on staying transparent and community-driven. In a crowded DeFi field, those qualities matter as much as the tech. Finally, a project that gets right to the heart of what trust looks like in decentralized systems, that is Prometheus Protocol. It just rolled out a fully decentralized verification system that automatically checks whether an app's deployed code actually matches its open source repository. If you have ever wondered whether the version of software running on-chain is the same as the code you see on GitHub, that's the gap Prometheus is closing. Until now, Prometheus relied on a manual, centralized review process, but the new upgrade replaces human checks with independent verifier boards that rebuild submitted apps and confirm, through cryptographic proof, that the deployed build is identical to the published source code. Why does that matter? Because AI agents on the internet computer known as MCP servers can now trade tokens, control wallets, or even manage on-chain treasuries. With Prometheus, reproducible builds become automated. Developers submit their app and GitHub link, and the system spawns a set of verifier bots. Each bot rebuilds the app in a clean environment, and when the majority, say 5 out of 9, produce identical results, the app earns a verified badge. That verification is written directly on-chain using ICP standards like ICRC 118, ICRC 120, ICRC 126, and ICRC 127. Together, they form a self-contained trust loop where developers pay a small fee, roughly $2.25 for 9 verifications. Verifier bots earn micro-rewards for matching results. Even bots that find mismatches get paid, encouraging honesty. It's trust without centralization, proof instead of promises. For users, the benefit is simple but powerful. If you are granting an AI agent permission to handle your assets, you can check an on-chain record showing exactly who verified it, when and how. Now, to be clear, this system doesn't replace security audits. It doesn't search for logic errors or bugs. What it ensures is code integrity, that what's deployed is exactly what's declared. This is part of a larger trend on ICP toward verifiable computation. Developers can already register their apps at prometheusprotocol.org and technically-minded users can even run their own verifier bots to earn small rewards. It's a small but foundational piece in building what some are calling a trust-native AI economy. One where transparency isn't optional and verification happens as part of the process, not after the fact. From AI-assisted app creation to verifiable builds, the internet computer ecosystem is quietly redefining what decentralized development can look like. It's faster, smarter, and transparent by default. If you found this update useful, consider supporting Ledger Life. Your donation helps keep this channel independent, unbiased, and focused on projects that are building real value in Web3. The links to everything mentioned, Caffeine Plug, PongSwap, Prometheus are in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one where we'll keep following how AI, crypto and decentralized systems are starting to work together in ways that actually make sense.